what's up beautiful people this is Narama. welcome to the channel today we have this very interesting video and it's from from the black conservative perspective channel and this is titled joy beha and the view blame trump for bo for burning man disaster as they panic over him beating biden hmm. i've heard people talk about the burning man and i've i actually haven't seen it but uh or checked it but hey um i'll try to go check it so yeah i'm excited to hear what to hear what the black conservative perspective i've got to say because i love hearing or listening to his own point of view regarding issues or topics like this so yeah let's check it out hey. um <laughs> as you can see Whoopi is not here she has covid oh. yes it's back it's oh, back. It's back. But she's on the men. She's on the tail end and she'll probably be back this week. But I'm sorry she's not here. For those of you who are looking forward to seeing her. A few moments later. Even Chris Christie, even though he seemed to have be doing Pilates with his wrist. Yeah, he was. He was. I, I like what he's saying though. He's speaking yeah. out against uh, He's he's Trump. growing in support. I mean the Democrats. I, I always had <laughs> I always had a problem with him. You know, I, I did a roast and he got mad at me one time. And, and you know <laughs> I said to him what did you say? I said, he wanted to run for president, and I said, listen, let me say something to you in terms you understand. You're toast. <laughs> that's not that bad. That's not that bad. That's, that's, a, that's a roast joke. That's you, you know? going right. You make fun wow. of people <laughs> about their looks and their weight. You say harsh, more harsh things during our Hot Topics meeting. Please. She's, <laughs> she says more harsh things to me as a... As, as, a, <laughs> as a friend. What is this, a gangbang all the time here? Here's what I'll tell you. From March of 2024 to July, he is going to be on trial in two different trials in Washington, D.C. Yeah. So that's from Super Tuesday to the nominating convention uh, in July. Yeah. I think it's like 95% chance, barring some major outside factor, he will be the GOP nominee. And we have to ask ourselves, is that what our, part, is that what our country wants, a potentially convicted felon? The flip side, which I'd pose to you guys, why the hell is he head to head, neck and neck with Joe Biden? They are statistically well, we'll tied right. We'll get to All right, guys. So the cackling hands of the view are back, except Whoopi, who has COVID, which is quite a coincidence since the White House announced that Joe Biden caught COVID and they are implementing a mask mandate for Sleepy Joe. Okay, Joe's gonna have to wear a mask when he is around people when he's not socially distanced. Uh, I think what we're seeing is the beginning of the Democrats and their push uh, for trying to use COVID as a way to implement policies that are favorable when it comes to the election in 2024. Mm, okay, yeah. I believe that that's what we are beginning to say. So with that being said, again, we got to talk about The View, who has been on vacation for about a month now. And it's funny because... I saw a lot of videos about The View being canceled or Whoopi being fired <laughs> that, for some reason, got a ton of views, right? But a quick Google search showed that Whoopi wasn't fired. She wasn't sued, unfortunately, and The View's not canceled, right? And they're back, okay? They're back. And I got to tell you guys, to nobody's surprise, these people are as insane as ever, okay? The Trump mm. derangement syndrome is on a whole another level. level right they missed a whole lot of stuff to talk about and now they're getting to their collection of masturbation material that they haven't got a chance to talk about for a month right so yeah. the first thing i want to talk about though is actually not trump but they found a way to incorporate trump anyways which is their reaction to the natural disasters that have happened in this country whether it be hurricanes what happened in maui and burning man which apparently you know the uh, cackling hands on a view are saying all these things were caused by climate change and it's the Republican Party and Trump's fault. Take a look. This is one of the many tragedies this this summer uh, due to climate change. Yeah. This is another one of those. They the better Maui deal with this. This is the this is the well, one number one existential problem in this. They, it yeah, rained now. three months worth over and, 24 hours. But when I hear Republicans say, "Oh, it's not man-made. It's not about fossil fuels," you know, when Trump was president, all of that went up. The fossil fuel yes, usage went up. And the it's regulations a to went the down. Planet. Please don't vote for him. I'm begging you. Get really? Him out of here. Oh my goodness. 
But I, I'm glad you mentioned that because uh, he's we, so dangerous. It's you know it's important to keep mentioning and try to see how we help the Maui fires. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how you know Hurricane, the, that was Hurricane, Hurricane, Hurricane Idalia in Florida. That was a horrible, horrible fire. Horrible, horrible oh. fires in it's Greece. It's like a nuclear bomb hit that poor place. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And then but there were forest. fires in Greece. There were fires in Italy. Yeah. The but, Phoenix but, had 116 degree temperature. Uh, Palm Springs must have been over 100. Yeah. Hurricane Idalia hitting the, the, aqua, bend, the, the big bend in Florida. The aquifers are drying up. If yeah. we don't have water, we can't exist. Yeah. They have to stop the denying warming and stop much. with yeah. the fossil fuels and whatever else is causing this. I'm begging you, don't fall for him. We'll be right back. <laughs> oh, my goodness. See what I mean, guys? Mm -hmm. Right, full blow Trump derangement syndrome. And this is exactly what Bebek Ramaswamy is talking about when he, when he talks about the climate cult, okay? The climate agenda right this woman literally is blaming maui burning man and the hurricanes every natural disaster is climate change right, right. every natural disaster to ever happen has to be climate change even though we've been having natural disasters since the beginning of humanity right exactly. the beginning of humanity before humans started using fossil fuels right we've had uh natural disasters since the beginning of the earth right and the climate has also been changing since the beginning of the earth but again these people um because they know nothing except left-wing talking points mm -hmm. they come out here and they play their audience because they think their audience is dumb by making these silly statements trying to imply that republicans and trump are basically causing the world to end right the world is ending because of trump and the republicans right. when again just even basic knowledge on this subject. I mean, basic knowledge mm -hmm. of carbon emissions and which countries are contributing the most to climate change and which are not, you would know that it does not matter what Trump and Republicans do, even mm -hmm. if our net emissions was zero, that would not make a dent. It would not make a dent in climate change according to the left-wing climate scientists, right? According to their science, it wouldn't matter what the U.S. does. As long as China is responsible for 25 to 30% of the emissions, you got India, you got the rest of the world, you're not making a damn dent. But again, they think that their audience is too stupid to know that. And maybe the cackling hens might not be intelligent enough to know that either, right? I highly doubt that Joy knows anything about what she's talking about outside of the talking points that she was fed. Mm. I mean, just listen to her talk. Don't vote for Trump because the world is going to end, right? Get this man out of here. Get this man out of all. He's not even in office. What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. Biden's in office. Biden is a greater threat to this planet than Trump. If we want to keep it 100. But again, speaking of Trump, we all know they had to chime in on the Trump indictment. And here we have Joy Behar in the view. Uh, reacting like the most of the mainstream liberal media, which is understanding that the writing's on the wall if you pay attention to the polls and how, at this point, the polls are basically tied between Trump and Biden. Trump is dominating the Republican primary. It seems like Trump could possibly take back the White House. And because of that, these cackling hands are openly advocating mm -hmm. to essentially destroy democracy by taking Trump off the ballot with the 14th Amendment. Take a look. <laughs> he missed a lot this summer. People are writing on Facebook, when are you coming back? I'm, I'm sure you're uh, missing everything. We want to hear what you have yeah. to say. So let's say what we have to say today. Okay. Um, Trump had his fourth indictment. <laughs> oh, um, who's counting? <laughs> he was indicted by a grand jury along with 18 of his allies, including Rudy Giuliani and Mark Meadows. Yeah. <laughs> trying to overthrow the uh, election in Georgia. Um, <clears throat> so he's facing 91 felony charges. Yes, he is. Four indictments in various districts and array of civil cases. He was twice impeached, as you always remind yes. us. So is there Disgrace. anything that we can do to stop this guy from running? Because obviously wow. he's a traitor. <laughs> Um, so why would he be running for president if that's, he's a traitor? That's the thing. You know, a lot of people are saying, well, 60% of the GOP is supporting him, uh, of GOP voters. And so I you think have it's more to... than that. Is really? it? Really? It's about 59% oh, is okay. what yeah, yeah, the, uh, the Wall, Street, Wall Street Journal today said 60%.
Oh. But I think what's interesting is... So there's 40% who haven't lost their mind. Well, about 40%, okay. which is a good thing. Right? Well, 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 wait a minute. That's if you consider supporting Ron DeSantis, not losing your oh, mind. Oh, yeah. you mean the other 40 could the be... Other, oh, I love the bar. Well, well, I thought back, the alternative yeah, was you know, Democrat, but there, Don't get ahead of yourself. There is, only a, there is a field. <laughs> but what I, want, what I want to say is, I think the larger question is, he's going to be convicted of something, right? I've said it all the time. Federal... Uh, defendants wow. get convicted like 97% of the time. State, def in, in the Georgia case, he's on tape for one of the charges. So he's going to get convicted. The larger question is, why is he even allowed to run? And, on, you know, and I've said it over and over again. Now, there are these legal, wow. and Alyssa and I were talking about it earlier, there are conservative legal uh, minds mm -hmm. and experts that are saying that under the 14th Amendment, he is not even allowed to run, even though he hasn't been convicted yet. Because the 14th Amendment says if you've participated in public office after taking an oath to this country in, a, in an insurrection, you're ineligible to run. Okay. And so you have two lawsuits now pending, I think one in New Hampshire and mm. is it Florida? Florida. 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 Mm -hmm. So oh. I really think that this legal theory is something that we really need to concentrate on. Instead of concentrating so much about uh, on the indictments, I mean, I'm very excited about them myself, but I definitely think 14th Amendment all the way mm -hmm. and well, just prevent to him me, from running. To me, the question is not why he's allowed to run. To me, the question is how could possibly Republicans who call themselves the law and order party yeah, yeah. be supporting a person who has been now indicted in four different jurisdictions. Yeah. I mean, wow. that's just outrageous. Here's what I'll tell you. From March of 2024 to July, he is going to be on trial in two different trials in Washington, D.C. Yeah. So that's from Super Tuesday to the nominating convention uh, in July. Yeah. I think it's like 95% chance, barring some major outside factor, he will be the GOP nominee. And we have to ask ourselves, is that what our part, is that what our country wants? A potentially convicted felon. The flip side, which I'd pose to you guys, why the hell is he head to head, neck and neck with Joe Biden? They are statistically well, we'll get tied to that. right we'll get to Yeah, so you see, now wow. you heard that, okay? And I told you guys multiple times, especially after the Jack Smith indictment, that the 14th Amendment is going to be the go-to if all else fails, okay? Mm. The liberal media, the Democrats, they're going to really push hard on this argument that Trump is disqualified from running for office. And I just got a feeling that one of these woke revolutionaries that is running some of these state elections, they're going to end up taking them off the ballot. I hope I'm wrong, but I just believe that that's going to be the case. Okay. But what you see here, guys, is that the cackling hands realize what the rest of the mainstream liberal media realizes, which is that the writing's on the wall. All of this stuff has backfired. Uh, these indictments have done nothing but make Trump stronger. Mm -hmm. And it seems like he's in a great position to win the general election. And now what they're doing is saying, well, you know what? Screw democracy. We're just going to take him off the ballot, right? Mm. If we can't get him through the witch hunts, we're just going to take him off the ballot. Yeah. And they're openly advocating to straight up overthrow democracy on national television. Then they'll turn around and tell you how much they love democracy and mm. how they're trying to save right. democracy and democracy this, democracy that. But when it comes time to, quote unquote, stand up for democracy when it comes to Trump and your political opponents being allowed to run, mm -hmm. even though there's nothing constitutionally that is not allowing him to run, they say, oh, no, nah, we, we, he shouldn't be allowed to run. We shouldn't allow the American people to make the decision about who they want to be president of the United States. Like. These are the same people that lost their minds when they realized that, oh, wait, Trump being in jail or being a convicted felon doesn't bar him from running for office. He can still be president. Yeah. So that failed. The poll numbers haven't declined. In fact, they've gotten nothing but better. Now they're on the last option. Well, let's just let's just take them out of the race. Yes. Right. I mean, these people are panicking. They're in a full-blown panic at the fact that Trump might win. He might be president of the United States again. Mm -hmm. And they wasted no time. They wasted no time expressing how afraid they are yeah. of this man being president of the United States again. Mm -hmm. It's pretty hilarious. The Trump derangement syndrome <laughs> has gotten a, a lot more severe, Okay. This is probably one of the severest cases that we've seen in a long time, okay? All four of the cackling hands, five of the cackling hands on the view. Severe case of Trump derangement syndrome. We really do need to open back up institutions in this country where people that have this debilitating condition 
can lay on somebody's couch and really figure it out. I don't understand how in the world can you live in an economy where you have record inflation, record crime, record illegals crossing the border, embarrassment on the world stage. This country is an absolute disaster. Yeah. And these people are so deranged over Trump that they will rather see Biden in office continue to destroy this country rather than have Trump back in office. They're calling for the man to be removed from the ballot. Not only just to lock him up, take him off the ballot. These are the same people who boo-hoo, whine, and cry about saving democracy, right? When these people are the real threat to democracy. But who knows? Mm. Uh, maybe, just maybe, right? What I would love to see is is, is Vivek go on The View, right? That's what I really want to see. You will crush okay, this. Since he's going on everybody's program. It would be absolutely amazing to see him go on his program. I think it might happen, okay? I think it might happen. We'll see. But let me know what you guys think. What you know saying what these ladies are doing is so disgusting. I mean, I don't even understand how people can be so treacherous. Like, wow. What exactly did Trump do that made them not like him this much? I st I'm still asking because it seems like they just have this... I, I don't even know the word to use. The way they even talk about him, like, come on. After everything that they've been doing to him, you guys still think is the problem. Wow. It's interesting to see how most people think and most people reason. Because what? She, it's the fact that Joy Behar openly said, don't vote for Trump. Like, come on, baby girl. Girl. Wow. I mean, this is a hard pill to swallow. Because, I mean, if this is was even coming from somebody else's mouth, who would say, "Oh, these are rumors," but you can you you're watching it yourself. You're seeing it. You're watching it, and you you heard what they said. This is not even a hearsay thing. Wow. Wow. Hmm. Honestly, I don't even know what to say. But hey, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment down below. What do you think about Trump? Honestly, I would love your contribution about that. What do you think about Trump? Do you think the ladies on the view are right about Trump? Or do you have a different um, notion or opposition to that? What is your um, What is the main reason why you are supporting Trump? And um, if you didn't support Trump before... Why are you supporting Trump now and what exactly changed your views or what exactly made you support Trump now? And I also love your um, contribution on um, everything about the forthcoming election and and most especially the ladies on The View. What are your thoughts about them? I mean, now they're saying uh, Whoopi has, has caught COVID, whatever oh my god interesting but hey let me know what your thoughts are about the ladies on the view um are you excited they are back um were you able to catch the clip or watch their show when they when on um, when they um edit what um were you expecting that they um, said or what is it that you um expected that most likely they actually um gave you the, the exact way you, you thought it to be but um i really love your contribution in the comment down below you can share other useful information and think might be really helpful and until next time see you in the next video